What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your second iPhone development tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be picking up right where we left off and adding stuff to the screen of our app. So before we even get started, I want to tell you guys that in the last tutorial, remember that I couldn't find where the Xcode was. Well, if you go ahead in your Macintosh hard drive, in your developer folder, in your applications directory, I guess it's called inside that, Xcode is right there. So if you can't find it or you don't know how to open it, that's where it is. So another obvious thing you can see is what I did is I rearranged all of my windows just so I can make it easier to work with. I put all of my interface builder windows on the left hand side nice and neat and I also put all of my Xcode windows which all of them I mean one on the right hand side so now we are good ready to go so you might take note that I have four windows open and more specifically I have the library and attributes windows open as well if you don't have any of these windows open then go ahead and click tools in library to get your library windows and inspector to get your attributes anytime you're missing a window and you don't know how to get it back up it's going to be under your tools toolbar right at the top so let's go ahead and uh, exit out of that and what we want to do is and by the way this view window I'm pretty much going to call the screen so if you get confused that's what I'm doing since that's basically what it is just the screen of your iPod so let's go ahead and our boss comes in and he's like wow this is a nice app a gray background but you know what I want some text on the screen and we're like alright I'll see what I can do so what we need to do in order to put some text on the screen is go in your library and your library is pretty much all the objects that you can put on the screen and let's go ahead and scroll down to label and go ahead and drag it over to your screen release and bam look at that we have text called label right on our screen but we don't want to say label we want to say something cool so double click this and go ahead and type bacon right in there and now click away and bang we now switch it from label to baking just by editing it with a couple clicks and go ahead and move it to the top of the screen or wherever you want it and you know this is good to go we already submit this baby to the app store make millions off it but before we do we go ahead and uh, file save our file so you know we don't want to ruin that that took us a lot of time to do and once you're done saving it go over to Xcode and click build and run now as soon as you click this this is gonna launch your iPhone simulator so this is pretty much a graphical representation of what it'll look like on the iPhone so I mean look at that pretty beautiful and look oh we got five bars too oh it's strong Wi-Fi not bad so go ahead in X out of iPhone simulator be quid iPhone simulator and by the way your iPhone simulator your Xcode and your interface builder are three separate applications so if you close out a one and the others are still there that's why they're actually three separate applications so anyways your boss comes in we show him this awesome app and he's like wow that is awesome indeed but my friend what I want you to do is actually change a couple properties I want bacon to appear a different color maybe he wants a different font and we're like dude I can do this so this is how we do this go ahead and select that bacon by clicking on it that label I mean and in order to change the color in your attributes these are all the attributes of that label go ahead and click color and set it equal to you know orange or something like that then X out of it and now look our bacon is now orange actually let's set it to like red you know, I, it just looks a little cooler, looks a little bit more bacon like. So, after this, you know, what we want to do is, I don't know, maybe change the font. So, go ahead and click the font and change it to something like Courier New. And look at our bacon font change as we do that. Let's make it Courier, it's a little more thick. And, uh, you know, maybe we can increase the size of it a bit by just stretching this and go ahead and double click in bacon and increase the size so bam I mean all this is pretty much self-explanatory uh, you know just the basic text attributes so now I mean this is good to code can this app get any better you know I don't think it can so go ahead and save it and build and run this and now look oh look at when this launches bacon pretty sweet huh so 
after this launches go ahead and click this little home button and now we see well what's all this stuff well this is what I was practicing before but you know this is our application right here our bacon app and I mean like the icon on it I mean check it out white I mean it pretty much sucks what we want is this sweet icon just like the new Boston so we're gonna go from creating a basic white icon to creating this how do we do that first close out of your iPhone simulator and what you need to do is you can't just create any picture icon it needs to be 57 by 57 pixels and it needs to be a ping you know what you know what I decided that I'm actually gonna save this for the next tutorial because I mean there's a couple other things we need to talk about as well so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to create sweet icons like the one you just saw so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial and by the way if you have any questions click the link below ask me in my forum and I'll answer them for you so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial